right, so this will be the base of the cage. So we're looking at 1750 deep and 2700 wide. And that's basically based on a 2.3 liner size because you'll see in the next thing below, I wanted to make the cage to fit perfectly the Dino Designs Perth 2x3 liners because I love them so much. So that is why the size is what it is. So this is the liner and the bedding set up. So I'll have three 2x3s and a 1x2. And then in the middle, there'll be a little wooden divider. And then surprise, surprise, on the far left, we'll be doing another sort of bedding. But we'll get into that a little bit later. And then these are the solid side panels. So the two sides and the back will be completely solid panels. Potentially, we'll do like a second level or a run level in future. So they are going to be 800 to 850 millimeters high. And then these are the front opening doors. So I'm planning to do like this using a bunch of the grids that I already have. So it'll be 700 millimeters high and 700 millimeters wide. And that'll be the two front. So one on the left, one on the right sides. Potentially they'll be fixed. I think I am going to go with the fixed option. And then the middle front gate will be three wide. So potentially that would either open left or right. I figured that might be too many grids in one. So I think I'm going to go with the second option and do this. So there'd be 1.5 grids each. So there'd be 525 millimeters wide and still 700 millimeters high. And then I want to put a self-closing latch on the front, but I guess we'll see how it turns out. All right, guys, so this is the base. Sorry if the dryer's going, it's quite loud. It is huge. Look at my hand in comparison. So this is 1750 millimeters and this is 2700 millimeters. And that is the whole inside of their cage. So what we're going to do is just put supports underneath and then I'll come back. Just placed on the supports as a guideline. So that is what's going to be underneath the cage. It's going to support my weight while I'm in there. It's in. This is half of it, so it's going to be another one of this again. And I made a really silly mistake and I had the measurements wrong. So this is actually going to be 2500 wide or long instead of being 2700. 27 would have been wall to wall and I need room for the power point. So we're currently trimming it to 25. Still 750, sorry, 1750 millimeters deep. All right, so it is time to lay, oh, I should show you actually, it's a broom that you might be able to see too far, but I've got pretty much all of the floor and just waiting for that little 100 mil piece to come, but I'm gonna start the vinyl. So I've just brushed it off and cleaned off the surface so there's nothing sticky there. Are you good now? I've heard. But why is that clean up? You remember how much you reset it? Oh, yeah, you We did it! Whew, that was a lot of hard work. But woohoo! That is the base pretty much almost done. Alrighty, so it is much later at night. I have this these three panels out. So these are the side panels and the back panel. And I'm gonna prime it. And then in two hours, I'm gonna do the first coat of paint. And then in another two hours, I'll do the next coat of paint. And that'll take us to about midnight. So are we excited? It's all basically so that we can get the cage finished tomorrow and get the guinea pigs in tomorrow night. So let's get started. I'm just gonna show you this little section and then I'll do the rest without you. <laughs> In case you're wondering what I'm actually doing, I'm intentionally not painting the bottom because we're going to cut all of that off tomorrow to 
cut it to the size that you want. So I'm just doing it down pretty much all the way, but not all of the way. I am all done priming. Woohoo! That took 45 minutes and my back is so sore. The guinea pigs better enjoy this cage. Are we all ready to see the paint? It looks a little pink. Ugh. Oh no. I think I would do much in there. Look at the little baby roller. It does look a little pink, doesn't it? All right, I'm gonna put you there. Oh yeah, way too much in here. It's all right. Ah, okay. Not what I was expecting. But I don't hate it. And it might look very different after the second coat. I like it. It's not coming out true to colour in the camera, but it's a little pink, a little cream. It's really nice. It's almost like a really light blush. Well, never did I ever think I would have three boys in a cage that looks very, very pink. You can't see it, but it looks like he got a little heavy on the red and not heavy enough on the brown or whatever colour makes brown because it's kind of looking pink, which is fine. I'm really good at not worrying about things that you can't, that I can't control. Like I painted it now, I've just spent $80 on the paint of tin. I'm going to love it the way that it is. Hopefully as it dries, it gets darker. But what I'm going to do is call my husband in and ask him what colour he thinks it is and see if it's just my mind. All right, here we go. So tell me what color you think it is. Peach. It's pink, isn't it? No. Oh, it's a pink! It's, it's peach. peach? Yeah. You happy with the peach, though? Sure. <laughs> Good morning. SOS, send help. I wake up so, so sick. I forced myself out of bed so that I can cut the linoleum so that my husband can stick the sides on after he cuts them this morning. But this is a hellish nightmare. So I'm probably not going to be talking for like the whole rest of the video, but I'll still show you guys what's happening as long as I'm not on my deathbed. we have one side drilled in the boy's gonna be pretty in pink I actually really like the color now that it's in here it's really muted um, so we're just gonna put on the back panel and this side panel and yeah you woohoo that is one of the side front door frames so we're gonna do another two of those and the two for the door so it's just small pieces of wood that I painted last night and then we just attach them together. I'm just gonna put some grids on it, which I'll show you in a minute. Hey guys, we are on day three of building the cage. It has been a hellish nightmare. I am so sick. Like I thought I was gonna have to go to hospital last night. I am so sick, um, but <laughs> I'm soldiering on. I've just finished one of the doors and then I went ahead and laid down. Now I'm going to do the second door and go have another lay down. That measurement is made to be four grids. I'm just grabbing up four grids and then all I'm doing is two of them, lining them up, lining them up and then using cable ties or zip ties. I'm just zip tying them together. And then I'm just going to cut the zip 
ties. Alrighty. And then we just need to attach these two together. How does that sound? <laughs> oh, so sick. Of course it happens when I'm an upgrade cage and I need to do the manual labor. And then I'm just gonna cut these ties again. And then my least favorite part. We attach the grips to here. So I'm just doing it through this so you can see. So I'm just lining it up so it looks good. And I'm just using these U shaped hooks. They just look like that. And trying not to burn my fingers. Alrighty, so I have two of those U hooks in every like side that's touching the wood and that's it. It's a, that's a really bad join. That will go at the bottom. Um, <laughs> the rest is good. Isn't she beautiful? And then this is the other one. <laughs> All right, so. Time to hang the door, so I'm using these butt hinges, they're 50 millimeters each, and I'm going to use oh, the zinc plated, so they're silver, but they're going on the inside, so the color doesn't matter. But I'm going to use three on each door, one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. I'm just going to screw those on now. three hinges on now. Now to hang the door. The first door is on. Yay! All right, we're getting so close to the functional end. Um, we're still gonna do all the pretty stuff after this, but functionality wise, we just got the last two doors to go on, the front skirting, and then it's functional. So, I've got these frames for the two doors. They are 400 by 700. After this point, I pretty much got too sick to function. So, I don't really have much more footage of the actual build process. But after I put the grids on these doors, we just hung them all and put all the latches on. Which I'll show you in the next video when we do the cage reveal. So, hopefully that all made sense to you guys. Um... Sorry, it might be a little bit jumbled as it gets towards the end. The sicker I got, the more confusing my footage got when I was trying to edit it. But I hope you've enjoyed it anyway.